Then there's a second section of the book of Zechariah, which is chapter 7 and chapter 8. It is primarily the message of wholeheartedness that arises out of the issue of fasting and feasting. The issue is not really we must fast or we must not fast, but it's the call of Israel to respond to Him with zeal and wholeheartedness. Because just as the Lord has great zeal for her and great zeal for her fullness, God really wants Israel to respond with great zeal for Him as well as great zeal and to contend for the fullness that He has even for her. The message is expressed through fourfold call. The first one is rebuilt, which is the call of God to Israel to be awakened from her passivity and lukewarmness because He does not want her to settle for half-heartedness. And the second call primarily is repent, which is a call of God for Israel to return and to repent because it's through her repentance unto the Lord that God will restore her to all the promises and plan and the fullness that He has for her. And the third call, which is out of the response of her repentance, which is restoration, that God will restore Israel fully to all His plan and promises that He has for her. Of course, this full restoration will primarily fulfill at the end of the age when Jesus returned the second time and in the Millennium Kingdom. And the last one really is return, which is the glorious message and ultimate hope of Israel when their Messiah and their King, Yeshua, will return the second time to Jerusalem, sit on the throne and partner with Israel to rule and reign through the Millennium Kingdom. And the final section of the book of Zechariah, which is chapter 9 to 14, primarily give us the clear and prophetic picture of what will happen to Israel before the second coming of Jesus. There's nowhere else in the Bible that gives us the clear information like Zechariah chapter 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 concerning what will happen to Israel at the end of the age. The entire five chapters are divided into two sections with two oracles called the very burden of the Lord in Zechariah chapter 9, verse 1 and Zechariah chapter 12, verse 1. Both oracles tell of the narrative of God for Israel from two different perspectives. Zechariah 9 to 11 is a prophetic insight into how God will regather Israel back to a land again, and then how God will deliver Israel from all her enemies. And thirdly, how God is warning Israel of the deception that she will face at the end of the age. Then Zechariah chapter 12 to 14 primarily gives us that picture of what will happen to Israel at the end of the age. Israel with no shadow of doubt in accordance with Zechariah 12 to 14 will go through another crisis and Israel will face another great holocaust that will far surpass World War II. God allows it and God directly orchestrated it for a purpose. That is Zechariah chapter 14, verse 1 and 3. His primary heart is to refine, to purify, and transform Israel, which is Zechariah chapter 13, verse 7 to 9, so that she can become a vessel that is worthy to partner with Yeshua in ruling and reigning in the Millennium Kingdom where Isaiah chapter 6 verse 13 call it as the Holy Saint. The book of Zechariah gives us a very clear message of God's heart and zeal for Israel and also what will happen to Israel at the end of the age, but ultimately how God will restore her even unto the fullness where she will step into her destiny as the holy nation unto the Lord. But it also gives us very important message that we need to 
speak even unto the nation of Israel, which is the divine pathway for Israel to walk even unto the fullness, which is to return and to repent. Because there's no way that Israel can walk into fullness and move forward without returning to their Messiah and to repent even of her sin. Where Zechariah chapter 1 verse 3 the Lord say, Return to me, and I will return to you, says the Lord of hosts. And as she responds even unto the Lord, she will ultimately walk unto the fullness that God has for her as the holy nation. God bless you. We would like to direct you to our detailed teaching on Zechariah chapter 12, 13, and 14. These are three very pivotal passages of scripture that give us prophetic insight concerning Israel at the very end of the age because it's a very controversial, very offensive, yet a very glorious message of what Israel will go through and ultimately how she will step even unto the fullness of what God has for her. So we want to encourage you because these three chapters are essential in understanding firstly, Israel's trouble in the coming days secondly, insight into the real issue of Israel's trouble which is not Satan, which is not anti-Semitism it's not Islamic nation that's coming against her but really it's God who is zealous for fullness and then of course, lastly, God's role even in Israel's trouble where 16 times in Zechariah 12 to 14 uh, is mentioned this same phrase, I will primarily indicate God's active involvement in bringing Israel through the fire and refining her to be the Holy Seed. So turn to our uh, detailed teaching in our website, which we will put a link even in this video. God bless you.